Today's Swift Zwift tip is for Mac and PC users who like to multitask whilst riding Zwift. For those of us who don't use Zwift in full screen and use it in a window here, previously when things were resized, this happened, or this happened, or this happened, it got pretty awkward trying to do multiple things on the one screen. The recent update to Zwift has seen a change to that. Now your aspect ratio or the resolution of your rider stays the same. Let me show you what happens here. So if we were to grab the bottom of the screen here and resize up, there we go. We can run a web browser, we can run a training session down below, or whatever we want. And it goes widescreen, which is pretty cool to see. That's probably a bit extreme, we'll just pull that down a bit. So there we go, half and half screen resolution there. We can have web browsers, other training programs, you name it, down below with Zwift running in the background or running in conjunction with what we're up to. Now taking it to the extreme over here and we can get really, really squishy with a ton of screen real estate still there for us to get work done. So if you're like me, you multitask on the bike whilst riding, this is a pretty cool little update from Zwift there. By the way, all the um, numbers and things you see on the screen there, which are all a bit screwy because of the ratio and the aspect, the ride is still good, but the numbers are bad. They still display correctly on the companion app. So if you have that loaded in front of you, happy days. Okay, let's get that back to normal. I do love the widescreen on this. That is super cool. You can see so much more going past. You feel more immersed, even though the screen is a little smaller. So if you ever need an excuse to upgrade that Windows machine or that external display for your Mac, this is it. Go grab one, go widescreen and enjoy. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, hit subscribe, something is coming. You'll see it here first. <laughs>